fantasy on my lips. Take a little sip, privacy on the door. I'ma make this shit work. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Pam here, and welcome to another episode of It's Pam's Life. Yep, yeah, period. Y'all, I was coloring some hair yesterday. We're not gonna, we're not talking about this right now. I was coloring some hair yesterday, being, you know, my regular self, a little ghetto. And I feel like I just be being fake on here, but that's because, be real with y'all. I don't, you know, it's my mentors and stuff, be seeing me. I don't wanna be acting like, you know, I wasn't raised right talking out my mouth you know using some bad words and stuff but that's besides the point today i'm doing tapings on a client so i'm going to show y'all full tape and install because i was supposed to show y'all mine but no but i will be washing these tapings and doing a video on tape and maintenance on myself because i have tapings in right now obviously and i just have a ponytail in but these tapings are like three weeks old so they're time to get washed you take care of your tapings the way that you take care of your hair wait and so now my client's on the way y'all look what i bought this is so cute and i hope it really works because especially when you're working from home it's difficult that's why most people don't wash hair but i bought this portable uh shampoo thing and so basically it goes on your client like this this i'm putting on my amazon storefront yeah god amazon influencer you're supposed to click it. I probably have to let some air out. And they sit like this. You can sit it in the sink. And they just put the head <laughs> I look crazy. But yeah, my client is on her way. And so, period. Okay, so here, I think majority of this video will be a voice recording. Because I'm so tired of YouTube giving me copyright claims. I washed my client's head over in the sink with my little contraption. It worked. And now I use it on all my clients. I love it. So that'll be in my Amazon storefront as well. Because it's a big help, especially for kitchen stylists like me. People who don't have a suite or aren't in a salon who do hair in their homes. I know every client prefers to get their hair washed. And actually, actually excuse me every licensed stylist i know prefers to wash hair like it was always my preference to wash hair it was just never convenient to do it that's why usually you always tell your client okay come wash and blow dry it but with this i don't have to do that anymore thank god because i prefer to wash right here you guys just see me sectioning her hair off i don't know why it's taking me so long to section her hair off but yeah putting her into i ended up just putting her into kind of like three sections the two front and then the back as one but you know you section four sections um after i put this clip in you guys are going to watch me detangle a little bit and then i'm going to get started blow drying or maybe i already detangled did i already detangle okay maybe i did already okay that blow dryer the silver bird is my baby Okay, I've had this blow dryer for maybe two years. And before that one, I used to use my mom's, which is the same blow dryer. And I'm pretty sure hers is actually hotter than mine's. Mine's is not a word, guys. Mine. But um, this blow dryer will get you right every time. It does not matter what texture your hair is, what type of hair you have, if your hair is thick or thin, curly or straight, relaxed or permed. It does not matter. This blow dryer will get you completely right. I do absolutely recommend using heat protectant though because this blow dryer is extremely hot. It's the same blow dryer that if you've ever gotten your hair straightened or just styled by the Dominicans, this is what they use. And I know I used to hear all the time that the Dominicans blow like they burn people with the blow dryer because that blow dryer is extremely hot. The key to any hairstyle, whether you are getting your natural hair done, whether you're getting weave, whether you are getting a tape in, whether you install whether you're getting braids the key is always the base and the base is always going to be your shampoo your condition and your blow dry okay your client can have the most tangled hair most difficult hair if you use the correct products you will always come out on top like do you guys see that do you see the shine already coming through her hair looks straight already now mind you she does have a perm but i don't have a perm I am completely natural and my hair looks the exact same. It blows out silky when I use this blow dryer. Love it.
So right here, I'm just finishing blowing her out. And we went section by section. So you always start right back corner and then you go to the left and then you go to the front right. And then you go to the left and then you blow dry all together to make sure that it is seamless. I already told you guys that this blow dryer is my holy grail. I love her to death. That's like my favorite product ever. I know that my clients love it. She does get really, really hot though. But look at the end result. Like, do you see the shine on my client's head? So now for the taping, before I install the tapings, you have to press your client's hair out. You don't have to do a hard press, though. She doesn't have to be silky straight. You just need to do a soft press. And so that's what I'm doing. My client had a perm, but I could do this on texture hair, curly hair. I actually have a curly hair client that I did the day after this. Same thing, same process. And she had got color. So it was a little bit different, but same. I am going through and just soft pressing. Really make sure that you press the roots. The rest of the hair is not the issue. You want to make sure that you focus on the roots. Do you see that shine, y'all? Like, seriously, do you see the freaking shine? This is crazy. Like, that is what good hair, good product, good conditioner, and a great blow dryer will get you. She could have just gotten a silk press. Like, honestly. This is just a slowed down version of me. Well, not slowed down, but like in real time. Clip of me flat ironing. I love that flat iron. It is my ion flat iron. I'm pretty sure the plates are titanium. And I love it. Literally, that is my baby along with my silver bird. Yeah. I'm running my mouth. I'm pretty sure I'm about to start singing soon. <laughs> yeah definitely running my mouth you can tell but do y'all see that like oh my god okay so right here i'm gonna do my best to explain this you want to part out and i start by placing my tape on top first versus on bottom then i flip it i pull any hair that's not directly sticking and then i sandwich it the key to a good and a long lasting taping installation is to have as little amounts of hair in between the tape as possible it's going to help it stick to the hair better and to the tape better if you have thick amounts of hair in between it's not going to last my arms are about to be in the way so i'm about to explain it again so you part out a thin piece and then you place your tape in on top first that's what i'm doing but you can't really see and then you're going to see me flip this tape in up and pull any hair that's not directly sticking and then i'm going to place the second one in between now what you're about to see is me pulling hair from the side because you don't want it to irritate your client. What I also do is my main thing is just keeping the hair in the middle. Now you place out hair to cover the tape ends and then you repeat. That's it. Top, pull, bottom. Now you see me curling her hair. These bundles are really shiny. That's the door clear. And you guys are about to see, like, this looks like her hair. For a full install, I used four packs. So that was 80 tapes all together. And her hair looks beautiful. Like, it blended so well. It looks amazing. She can do anything she wants with them. And y'all are about to see. Like, look at her. That is her hair. That's hers. Oh, my God. She's so cute. Okay, bye.